Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first Snapshot Sessions podcast brought to you by Carmarthen Camera Centre. I've been super excited all week uh, to bring you this podcast, and uh, today we've got a very, very special guest in store with us for session number 1.0. Mr. Sam Smith oh. from Sigma UK. It is only right that you are the man that we brought in for this very first episode. Thank you for having How me. How are you, my man? I'm good. I'm good. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. Oh, first Absolutely episode amazing. is such a delight. So Absolutely amazing, mate. I yeah. expect to be here on the first, the <laughs> hundredth, oh. thousandth as well. So. He's thinking yeah. ahead. Sean, <laughs> end the stream, mate. He's yeah. thinking too far <laughs> ahead, pal. But um, no, honestly, man, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome, and um, you've brought some goodies with you, we which have. is all a little bit sh- Hush, hush, mm-hmm. uh, which is absolutely amazing. What would what would Carmarthen Cameras' first podcast be without a little bit of exclusivity? Yes, yeah? exactly. exactly. <laughs> we brought a couple of little ones, but I'll touch upon this kind of later on as we so, go through. Yeah, because... we're gonna we're gonna sneak those in there. Yes, I think, can we do so? It's very exciting. Um, excellent. But hey, listen, man, mm. let's um, let's get into this thing. So it's our first go. So guys, please mind any stumbles <laughs> or, uh, or any any bad language in there. Mm. Check the ear horn on there, just for, uh, just for, uh, sorry guys, I'm like a kid at Christmas, I'm, uh, I'm just testing out our new soundboard yeah. as well, which is, uh, which is quite cool, but let's get back on topic, Sam, thank you so much for joining us, mate, for those of you guys who don't know who Sam Smith is, I'm going to hand you over to him, Sam, ah. who are you? So, I, uh, thank you for the introduction, so I am Sam, I work for Sigma UK, um, we basically, uh, we're a manufacturer of lenses, so we produce some of the largest and loveliest lenses and beautiful optics on the market. Um, but basically, I'm one of the um, account managers and I look after Command and Cameras. Um, I'm also one of their like, technical help as well. So if you have any questions, it would tend to get pushed to the office, which could come to myself or could come to another part of the team. Um, but so yeah, it's just a it. small collaboration of team, really. So we all chip in and do bits and bobs with the business. So indeed, sounds good. But yeah, mm. certainly, certainly one of our uh, one of our favourite reps, without oh, upsetting any of the others. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Sam, how how long have you been with Sigma now? Ah, so I was I was actually um, looking at the watch earlier on. So I've been with Sigma now for six years and three days. There we go. It's impressive. <laughs> yes. Do you know what? I didn't pre-program a round of applause into my into my soundboard, but I'm going to give you one there now. That's yeah. some good work, that is, pal. That's some really good work. Oh, thank um, you. But, but Sigma, I mean, mm. listen, we, it is a brand that we've known to, you know, to, to absolutely love um, over, over the years. Mm. Uh, I know uh, Sean behind the camera, they're a big fan mm. of, the, of the art series lenses. Um, but that, that all, wasn't always the always the wasn't case. always the case, yeah. no. So, yeah, so t- talk, talk to us yeah, a little bit course. about the, um, so, the, the development of Sigma lenses. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. with the, the history of Sigma, we've, mm. we've been around for over 60 years now. We had sure. our 60th anniversary in wow. 2019, mm-hmm. which was a massive, great big thing for us. For sure. A fantastic achievement. For sure. Sure. Um, since then, we've gone through a couple of a couple of stages, as as you said, like podcast 1.0. This yeah. we've had like I would say Sigma one, and then Sigma 1.2, and then we we kind of pushed it up, and I would say we're at a, a really nice level now. But yeah. where we started, mm-hmm. we were uh, mass market producing mm-hmm. some high quality optics mm-hmm. uh, at a lower cost. Sure. Um, a lot of the a lot of the customers at that time we were the cheaper or more affordable option to them. Mm -hmm. Um, They would have probably got for the main brands. We were doing incredibly well on the business. Mm -hmm. Recently though, Mm -hmm. in the last, since 2012, Mm -hmm. um, we've had a new CEO takeover. It was the founder's son. Mm -hmm. He's moved the business into a slightly different direction. We've gone for premium optics, Mm -hmm. um, still with a lower cost, um, but with it's slightly higher than we had before. Let's put it that way. You can't produce good optics for next to nothing no, these no, days. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, we, we've now got the new, uh, new CEO who's taken, it's what, 30, uh, sorry, looking at it now. So it's 11 years he's been with wow, us. That's, um, that's and amazing. since then we've changed the brand mm-hmm. and we're now a premium lens brand. Sure. And we're somewhat, a lot of people do go to us before the, the home brands themselves. I so. appreciate that. Yeah, abso- absolutely, dude. Well, but when you look when you look at the like for likes, it certainly makes exactly. a, makes a lot of sense, exactly. especially with your with your massive development into uh, DGDN lenses, yes. with the true mirrorless lenses, as we call exactly. them. Exactly. Um, and they are they're, they're available all the way across the board, I understand. So you can get your, your art series primes. 
your sports series and your contemporaries exactly well. yeah so sure. in 2012 part mm. of our restructuring the market mm. was we produced the global vision lenses sure so global vision sure. was this vision to have as i said premium quality products at a lower cost and we produced yeah. that and we produced the art series which are high performing optics mm -hmm. our contemporary series which were tend to be like travel small and lighter and then our sports which were fully weather which sealed which is your, your um, fully weather sealed the big boys yeah, yeah so it was um, yeah. we've and since then we've done incredibly well with the series um, you mentioned about DGDN For before sure. that we had the HSM series so the DGHSM which basically is DSLR so a mirrored system mm -hmm. and now with the DGDN it's digital native which is straight to a Sony E-mount or L-mount system. Absolutely amazing, mate. And it's, it's a forever growing oh, of uh, course, lineup yes, of lenses, of course. Yeah. And um, I think I think now is a good time to, to sneak in our special guest ah, for today. So excellent. Um, over to you, Sam. What have we got uh, for today's uh, so, announcement? I wanted to announce two special things uh, today. So we've got, I'll start with the big boy in the middle. Yeah. A lot of people might already know this lens and go, hang on seen this around mm -hmm. so this is a 100 to 400 mm -hmm. dgdn um Very it's nice. the same design and the same sort of build as our e mount sure an l mount we currently have in the range however this is now x mount there so we this go. is going to be there perfect for your x mount shooters your xt5s yeah. your xt3s mm -hmm. anything of that where you want that longer focal length sure. and because it's 100 to 400 on a crop sensor mm -hmm. it's basically a 150 to 600 equivalent 600. There in we go. There a we tiny go. little body there we go you um, get a, you get an air horn for that dude that's thank going you off. very much yeah, yeah <laughs> so, man, we love that um i did say it was more or less identical that we have changed a couple of the custom settings mm -hmm. on the side sure. due to the Fuji having the automatic focus switch mm -hmm. built slightly differently. But we've got AF function now on the actual uh, yeah, lens no, itself, rather than before that was a custom function mode. For sure. Um, so we've, we're adapting it to the, the system in themselves. Definitely, so. yeah, and that, that sort of, you know, that, that ergonomic usability, it's isn't it? Fun. Yeah, which is, a, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a stunning bit of glass, this is. I don't know if we can sort of see that. We'll get, um, yeah. we'll get in nice and close on that in, uh, in just a little bit. But yeah, no, won wonderfully well oh. balanced as well. They you know, always are. Know. It's, it's yeah. incredible. It's 100 400, I think, one of my favourite telephoto lenses. Because Without doubt, yeah. I, I struggle with weight. If I go for a long sure, journey, sure. I mean, I'm not the biggest guy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like, hey, I like to keep here. it small. <laughs> that's um, it, that's it. So yeah. the 100 400 ticks that box for me because, so. as I said, you get that punch in <laughs> of, yeah. if you've gone on crop sensor, you could <laughs> go up to 600 mil pretty sure. much. Sure. Um, you also, on these versions, the DGDNs, you can actually add a collar as well. Yes, so yeah, I did notice the sort of the, the, the pull-off rubber ring that you've got, you guys have got on there. That's yeah. that's uh, that's awesome. But again, it's those little innovations that, like I say, you know, make, make these so appealing to exactly. the to the mass exactly. market. It's absolutely, yeah. you're pros, amateurs, and uh, and everybody in the middle. Isn't <laughs> yeah, it? You know, absolutely. We hit such a big market range and sure. with all our products. For um, sure. Yeah. yeah it's no, fantastic. It's a, and this one would be a yeah. complimentary addition to anyone who say if you're normal normally shooting with primes and you go actually I'm fancy a zoom True. these ones come in at around 899 pounds on launch well right okay. so, so it's really a, affordable a thousand, for, yeah, for a 600 yeah. well, 400 mm -hmm. or 600 mil for Fuji fit well, when, when you look at the brand's native options <laughs> it's uh yeah it's yeah sort of, um, we just add a little bit more variety really sure. into the mix and for sure uh, different optics, different yeah. performances as well. Gives so, a different um, option, absolutely. But yeah. with these, you also get two top stops of stabilization. Um, that's on the lens. Obviously, mm -hmm. body could have more as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you do get you do get a good mix for mm -hmm. a tiny little lens. lens camera body. If you just you know if you're a future shooter and most of them shoot their primes, as I said. Exactly. You want to just yeah. experiment. This yeah. is perfect lens to experiment with. Um, a, and it's also perfect for the pros as well. If they wanted a high quality performance, mm -hmm. you don't miss out on it for that price either. For sure, for sure, absolutely, man. That's a, yeah, that's a that's a hell of a bit of glass mm. to, to sort of uh, add to the arsenal, or or let's say. Um, Reimagine, redevelop, yeah, and, and add back into the arsenal, yeah. as it were. You know, which is uh, it's, it's been a very, very good lens o over the years. Uh, I can remember them bringing this out. Uh, I, I say, I say them. Mm. You guys bringing this out originally for the um, for the for the DSLR, yes, the Canon, yeah. and the Nikon yeah. fit, uh, and it was a very popular lens then. Exactly. So it's um, it's nice to see that. Uh, but the nice thing we do with the DGDNs, the, this version here, is from the DSLR, we basically redesigned the optical performance completely, sure, sure. and then it's changed for this new one. So this was announced in 2020. 
Yes. And so we've had three yeah. years of this lens being on the market, wow, that's, um, that's, uh, and it's it's done great for us. It's it's an incredible lens. It's definitely. yeah, it's it's a very popular one. Brilliant in our, stuff in our kit. But we like it. We um, like it, man. Originally, this was only available on E and L, so yes. E mount for Sony or L mount for like a yeah. Panasonic mm -hmm. Sigma. Um, but now with the X mount, no, it just opens X's the doors well. for this yeah, lens as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, dude. There I've we go. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I bet you have. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, got yeah, a Fuji camera at home and it's yeah. lovely, but yeah. I, I need that Kind of need that bit, of, that bit of reach for yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah, no, there we go. Sigma to the rescue mm. again. Global domination, you heard it here first. Yes, we love it. And speaking of which, what have we got next? Yeah, so next one on this. another one. So on the same day of announcement, which this would be the 1st of September, we have a 23 mil, again, a lot of people would have gone, hang on, yeah. we've got this already yeah, in the range. We, we do. I like it. Again, we've gone for the same uh, same idea behind the, um, this 100 mm -hmm. 400. We've now got the license for the X mount system to yeah. do the 23. To do the 23 as well. Um, so this is a 23 crop sensor. Mm -hmm. um, so this is 1.4 as well. So yeah. you're going to get super fast. Um, Mega great prime for low lens. Lens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. I mean, you feel that, how the weight of it is nothing. <sighs> But it's it, it's a lightweight lens, mm. but you can feel the build quality exactly, on it yeah. as well. You know, this is what I love about you know it doesn't it doesn't matter if this is a contemporary this is a contemporary mm. lens by the way guys, mm. but contemporary lens or an art series lens the, that that build quality I mean it never it never leaves it's you the way that, the way yeah. that it all functions is just absolutely fantastic. But look at I mean yeah. you, look, you look at that that is no no footprint at all. I think as well, something yeah. which I really like, talking about the history of Sigma as well, mm. is when we changed into Global Vision in 2012, we also changed the design of the lenses. Sure. They do look slicker and yes. they do look nicer yeah, and they're very yeah. minimalistic. And I, sure. I'm a big fan of that. Um, Definitely, I think a lot of yeah. our customers are as well. They just want a, a lens which doesn't mm. shout, look at me, yeah, I'm very expensive. The, it's yeah. kind of, it's a subtle, we've got subtle branding on there. It's, yeah. it's not about us, it's about yeah. the image coming through. For sure. Um, and I think they've, they've matched that perfectly with the aesthetics and the look of it. I, so. I think so, dude, yeah, they, they look um, they look absolutely fantastic. And I, and I, I was saying uh, I was saying to uh, a friend of mine, Stephen Cleary, the other day, mm. actually, um, he was using a couple of your lenses on uh, the new Lumix uh, S52X, oh, yes, that which, has nice. the, which has got the which has got the blackout logo in there. Yes. I mean, that's a, that's a very, very aesthetically pleasing looking yes. camera. And um, not that it's all about us aesthetics it's about what the camera delivers but if i was if i was walking in uh and i was looking for you know mm. mr vanity of the camera world exactly. that would be yeah. the combination yeah. so i think 24 70 2 8 uh yeah. the sports version on the, it's, it's sports isn't it uh, or so is it, it's the 24 70 is art yes it's an yeah. art series yeah. lens there we go so that lens on on that camera body nice. would be my uh, would be the combination I think I'd be walking that's out perfect, with. That's you know? perfect. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, we, hey, listen, ProRes Raw, you can't. Yeah, that's always an added bonus, it. isn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, man, no, they're, 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 they're two absolutely fantastic lenses, mm -hmm. and again, you know, just just sort of bolsters the, you know, the 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 Fuji compatible lineup, exactly, isn't it? You know? Exactly. Uh, well, we've currently got um, four Fujis in the range before mm -hmm. we added these in. Sure. Um, we've we've got they're all crop sensors. Yeah. This is officially our first full frame coverage one which wow, we right, offer right, right, right. Um, so original beforehand we had 16 mil 1.4 now we've added the 23 yeah we also had a 30 mil 1.4 okay, and then a 56 yeah, 1.4 well, and then yeah. we also had the 18 to 50 2.8 there's a lot of numbers here guys but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah. if any of this goes like i talked to, sometimes a bit too fast or mumbly but Sweet. if you have any questions talk to these guys they know ins and outs of our kit and it's and if not we can send it down have yeah. a little plane and a little of demo course, for you as absolutely, well absolutely yeah sean i think i think he's just thrown us under the bus is that us yeah. under the bus is <laughs> it he's <laughs> shook that one off on us is it? oh <laughs> no <laughs> nightmare man no but honestly guys that's what we're here yeah. for you know come on into store or pick up the phone and and you know get, chat to us you know we, we love speaking to you guys we do you know as much as we as much as we jest uh we love a bit of banter don't we sean yeah. give us the <laughs> There we go. You're gonna get an air horn there. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody get this, uh, get this, this soundboard away I from me, it. right? Because uh, pilot episode. You can forgive me for it. It's exactly. a pilot episode. Exactly. But, um, Sam, so mm. here we go. We're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get oh. right into it now. Okay, okay dude. Right. So if you had to pick a favourite lens in the in the uh, Sigma lineup. Okay. It could be any of your any of your art series, mm -hmm. contemporary sports, mm -hmm. or your cine lenses. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. So, so it, listen, yeah. we didn't talk about this, no. and I didn't I didn't put it into oh. any of our pre communications. I've just curveballed him, Sam. So what are we picking? Mate? I semi thought you might ask this question. That's why I brought this little one here. But I 
can I pick three? Of course you can. So I you have, can pick as many as you want, dude. But I have yeah. three in the range Go I on. like. So Go on. Th- I'll start with this one because this one's yeah. the one I brought with me. That's it. Absolutely tiny. So uh-huh. this is a 45 mil so contemporary. 45, yes, yes, yes. So it's, it's so That's perfectly the, yeah, small, isn't it? That's dinky little lens, um, isn't it? So yeah. this one's a full frame lens. Mm-hmm. Um, you can put this on Sony E and L mount. And sure. it's 2.8. Mm-hmm. A lot of people go fast. They want the, the 1.4s. Actually, these, these are premium compact primes we've built. And they actually lack the aperture. But you, mm-hmm. in, with the lack of the aperture, mm-hmm. you do get your size and weight back. So yeah, that's right, yeah. in I mean, that comparison is, to if, if we had a 40 mil 1.4. I mean, that's that's quite a large one in comparison 60. to that. So for like travel, um, the, the 45 mil for me is absolutely ideal. Go on holiday, absolutely. I can just take a little camera, a little lens with me. Snap away. It still gives me beautiful depth of field because it's I mean, you get your full gonna, frame. Stick that yeah, there you go. I mean, that's a that's a fifty mil there. Yes, it's, it's, I think I think your forty one four is bigger than that. It's it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a chunky glass, isn't it? So yeah, side by side. I mean, the difference in aperture. Yeah. Can, we can it's, produce such lovely small little lenses, for sure. and for a lot of the stuff I do when I'm you know going on a hike or a walk, I mm-hmm. will want to do landscape. So why am I stopping it down anyway? Well, this is it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but um, I mean, when we. Uh, Ultimately, when we think about it, I mean, you've only, I hesitate to say the word lost, but you've only yeah. lost a, a stop of light. Exactly, yeah. And your, your cameras now, I mean, you know, so you're just looking at the plethora of cameras yeah, yeah, that we've got in front yeah, of yeah, us yeah. here now recording this podcast. Yeah. And the, the ISO performance on these things is so good. Yes. Compensating for one stop of light is, you know, yeah. it's negligible versus versus actually the portability of, That's the of, thing of again, this type yeah. of lens. Like, if I was going so. on a holiday and I wanted to take one of those, I sure could. Yeah. Sure. But I would sure. feel it a little bit more than just chucking that in the yeah, bag, absolutely. you know. Yeah, no, um, I, I get that. So these I are kind that. of our little, little travel selection. But yeah, I think the 45mm yeah. for me, because it's closest to what my eye can see, mm-hmm. I'm very, very bad at composition and understanding vocal types. And like, yeah, yeah. I look at something going, I can fit that in 90 yeah, mil. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that in there. It doesn't work out in my favor. So anything I can see I physically is the best. Thing. I get that. Uh, 45 for me is is yeah. my first number one favorite. There we go. Favorite. So that's number one, um, one favorite. So after that, two. I would say I go for the 24 to 70. Okay. That's my workhorse. Yeah. Uh, I've yeah. got a niece and nephew. We see them mm-hmm. on the weekends. Sure. They are back and forth. Yeah. They're four and two right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they are running crazy, yeah. and yeah. I, I've tried with that 45, yeah. and I can get some beautiful shots with them. Mm-hmm. But when they're in the, the garden over there, I, mm-hmm. it's just so nice to have yeah, 24 to 70, yeah, just to, yeah, just to have everything in, in one lens, and it's not big at all. And it's yeah, a tile, mate. Probably, yeah. yeah, the yeah. one on the yeah. end there. There we go, yeah. yeah. In fact, that's the, yeah. that's the hammer there. Let's pop that, let's pop that on the front so there. That's so that's one of our art series, so that will is, lenses, it's yeah. a slightly faster mm-hmm. um, f-stop in comparison to some of the sure. contemporaries. However, it's a zoom, so it's 2.8 still. Yeah, um, but, but it's, throughout throughout its throughout aperture range, range so yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. doesn't sort of close. I think that's why I like yeah. it. I kind of yeah. I think for me that two eight, mm-hmm. if for my personal sort of private work yeah, is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. But I mean, listen, you, you know, you you ask you ask any any mm-hmm. any any wedding or portrait photographer, that's yes. usually well, we call them the Trinity. Yeah, that's yeah. that is the middleman in the Trinity. I can imagine that's, it, you know, that's so. probably most people's favourites. Absolutely, yeah, um, absolutely. But it's that it's that versatility, but mm. still with that you know the, that creative element of the of the lower aperture as well. You know, so yeah, there we go. That gets my seal of approval as oh, well oh, as, a, as a portrait Take guy. That. And then my um, my. If, we're, if I'm allowed to have three. You can have three, mate. I'm going to have on. three. So the third one is a bit of a curveball, okay. but it's exciting. And what mm-hmm. we do at Sigma, and I've, I've had it as a demo, and I've gone, actually, it's really fun to take out, sure. like, on, just on the weekend. or just uh-huh. it's So it's one of our cine lenses, as you, mm-hmm. if, you, if yeah. I can include Indeed. this in. Yeah, please, yeah, um, throw it out. So it's, one of our, it's our 65 yes. T2.5 Ooh, classic yeah, lens. We like that. So yeah, yeah, not like many that. people know we kind of do the old cine lens. Sure. They're basically manual aperture, sure. slightly bigger. They're made for the cinematography market. Okay, so, yeah, appreciate uh, that. Like Top Gun, Maverick was shot with our cine, uh, yeah, uh, Sigma yeah. Cine Primes. It was fantastic. That's it. The Classics, however, come in with their identical build to our normal lenses in terms of our cine builds, mm-hmm. but they have a slightly flarier, warmer tone. Yeah, gotcha. And the 65, gotcha. it's just the way it compresses it and with a bit of flare. Yeah, sort of how it throws out. Oh, it's yeah, so it's lovely. Got a, it's, yeah. got a, yeah, it's got a bit of something naughty. It I like it. Does. I like it definitely it. does. It's, I like it's, it. Pop. It's the character of the lens, and I yeah. think this is why we've been so popular in the mm-hmm. markets because the majority of the Sigma lenses have a nice, clean, neutral look. Very much so, yeah. That's yeah. what a lot of people love, especially these days with post-production. You could do Photoshop on these things. You exactly, yeah. Lightroom. Yeah. 
yeah. um, everyone can add things near mm -hmm. the AI. Definitely. You want like a nice yeah. clean look mm -hmm. to an image and For we sure. give that in a neutral tone and very sharp. Definitely, wow. yeah, it, it sinks in perfectly with log. Yes. I, I, I tend to find, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, in terms of if, you, if you're really gonna measure neutrality yes. down to the yeah. down to the microns and, yes. and that is, yeah, that, that does all. But I, I mean, incidentally, it's, it's funny that you should mention a, mm. a cine lens because mm. I, I think, uh, you know, if that question were relayed to me, I'd probably say you're, you're 20 and you're, and you're ah. 40 T15s. Oh, nice, are yeah, the, excellent. Are the two that, that really, uh, yeah, get, get me get me excited about, about cine lenses. The like 40 was, lenses. would have been in that, yeah, but then since the 65 has come out course, last year, yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, no, that's the new mantle, isn't it? It's, um, yeah. yeah, fantastic. Well, I, yeah. you've yeah. obviously shot with that cine stuff, haven't you? I, I have. In fact, I, I think there was there was a, a phone call involved during lockdown, if I'm yes, not mistaken, and then you said, well, Chris, I've got all this demo stuff. Here you go, yeah. You carry on. Like I couldn't go out anywhere with it, but the stuff I shot in the house was probably the sharpest stuff I've ever shot. So fantastic, um, yes. yeah, no, I'm very excited about those yeah. lenses. They were, they were, they were, they were absolutely fantastic. And, mm. and actually, um, I, I was quite surprised at the portability of them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're full on cinema lenses, but the portability of them, were, were, yeah. was, it was they're just absolutely amazing. Fully metal housings. They are sure. heavier than our oh, current yeah. photo yeah. lineup. Yeah. Um, but doubt. not in comparison to they're, the, the rest of the yeah. Listen, the they're, they're nowhere with. near the the weight of some of the cine lenses no, that I've experienced no, 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 no. in my you know, in, 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 in my yeah. years in the industry. You know, yeah. For, um, for a lot of um, we, we, our market for the cine uh, mm -hmm. side, we tend to hit quite a lot of self shooters. People who have like they're doing a one man band, they're popping on their shoulder. They want to focus pull as well at the same time. You can do that because our size and weight is down to a minimum, yeah. um, and which is really good. And uh, the price is very affordable as well in the market market in comparison so. definitely definitely mm. mate well listen dude i mean mm. that that kind of you know for on on that point in terms of you know price and and, and mm. things i mean look, listen sigma have, have undoubtedly made uh, absolutely fantastic strides forward especially yeah. in the you know in, in in the sort of the last sort of 10 or 11 years going yeah. forward um is there any particular bit of development that has really caught your eye over that period oh, if you had to pick a bit of you know a bit of tech bit of optic that you might be using. Is there something that, that, that really stands out to you in, in all of that? Uh, I think one of the ones which we produced mm -hmm. 2019, sure. our first full frame camera. Okay, yeah. yeah. That was a bit yeah. of genius yeah. magic. They, they, um, the factory managed to fit it into a box mm -hmm. and it managed to be the world's smallest and lightest full frame mirror Indeed. system. Yeah. And yeah. that was yeah. a big, yeah. Big mark big, for yeah, us. Massively um, so. yeah, the technology, yeah. as, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we've actually always, in the 62 years we've been running, mm -hmm. we've always been a camera manufacturer. Yeah, Everyone yeah, just thinks right, of us yeah, as lenses, yeah, yeah. but we've always done cameras in the background. They sure, they have sure. a niche market or they're sure. made for certain environments, sure. but... Very specialist sort of setup, exactly. isn't it? You know, so yeah. uh, so uh, guys, if you if you want to check them out, you didn't know Sigma did um, did sort of uh, uh, cameras as well as, as, mm. well as their optics. Go and check out. I'm, I'm looking straight down the barrel. Yes, go, go yes, get onto Google, right? And go and check out the Fovian sensor because oh, uh, they, they are amazing. some serious. Yeah. Uh, HD Quattro. Yeah. One, one of my, if you're going to pick a, a niche camera, that's one of that my favorites. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah without a shadow of a doubt. But sorry, dude, I, I cut you right it. off there. So but yeah, very, like, get onto Google. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Come and see one in store as well. They're awesome. Sure. Um, but yeah, this is the, the world's smallest sure, lightest yeah. full frame. It's absolutely remarkable. And it weighs nothing. I mean, it's yeah. less than yeah. this microphone in terms of so, and yeah, size so, and so the reference there actually guys uh, for, for those of you listening um, is the Sigma FP yes uh, right. and uh, and the FPL yes we have an FP series so sure. far so we released it in 2019 and we've released two cameras since then the, they are pretty much identical mm. in terms of specification both full frame mm -hmm. both tiny little box modular system yeah. um, but the difference comes with the sensor mm -hmm. so the FP by itself is a 24 megapixel and the FPL is basically larger so it's a 61 megapixel yeah. in there Indeed. Um, so it packs Indeed. a punch it's, so. I mean into uh, from and is, is that advancement more towards the, the still side of things? They've exactly. both pretty much got the same video yeah. specifications? They've got more or less the same video specifications enough, built yeah. in. Um, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people with 24, mm -hmm. the FP when we announced it, we made it a, a system where we could stream to both markets. Sure. 
um, the photo and the cinematography or the cine market. Mm -hmm. um, and the VL, it's still made for that, but Fantastic. I think yeah. we've kind of pushed a bit more to the photo yeah, side as well to, to take the megapixel yeah, race. Kind of uh, yeah, yeah so. absolutely, yeah. And, and listen, I, I, I love those cameras. Yes, I, yeah, I yeah. absolutely love them. But um, is there, it's, I mean, not that, not that you could probably tell us right now, okay. but is, I mean, in terms of the one thing that I felt let that camera down mm. uh, ultimately was was the autofocusing system. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, I mean, that is, you know, yeah. you, 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 you look around, you probably see that as on most reviews, mm. etc. They are, but the argument always is mm. that if you're using one of those pro cinema lenses, then you you're probably AF. not using no, AF anyway. Are you, you know? yeah. So it's, uh, you know, the way that that sensor renders, though, mm. is just absolutely yeah, lovely. It's just yeah, lovely. It's phenomenal. There's, yeah. It's a yeah. tiny bit slower than mm -hmm. some of the competitors in the market for sure. the AF. I appreciate um, But it's still awfully yeah. fast in comparison to... The, we're, we're ni you know, when I say that, it's a, it's oh, a yeah. bit of a throwaway statement <laughs> yes, because actually yes, it's yes. like, how, how, what more do you want? I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? It's probably faster focusing in the mic. I can focus, yeah, but yeah, still, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you get that, but yeah, when, when you look when you look at some of the heavy hitters in terms of in terms of continuous and servo AF, it's yeah, okay, but it might fall a little bit behind that. Yeah, but it does a little bit, but then also it's, if it's, we're talking about the markets where it goes into, well, so exactly. the FPs line of series have been so popular with yeah. landscapers, yeah, which yeah. don't even use AF. Well, I mean they they get it in focus, yeah. then then they switch it off, and then they switch it off. Um, yeah, but because yeah. we have features in there like ISO six, yes, so right, yeah, you can yeah, actually yeah, push the so all That's the way right down. Thing. Yeah. Landscapers yeah. love it. And because it's so portable and light, you can get a nice wide angle lens before if you're a landscaper, you'd have to take something big and heavy. One of the like the chunky, chunky big lenses we do, used to do like 14 mil. Sure. Um, and now you can reduce it down. You can take one of these little premium compact ones with an FP mm -hmm. and it's pretty much no bigger than your phone and a couple of, you know, a couple of bits of biscuit if you want to take with you as well. So it's, a, mm -hmm. it's just, it reduces the kit. Um, down and the FP is fantastic for lightweight and portability, really. So I always try I and keep it. one in my bag. I love um, it. Just for just for yeah. fun, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, dude. I like it, mate. I like it. We can't we can't fault it, pal. The more yeah. cameras, the better. Fill your bags up, guys. Fill them up. Yes. But yeah. That's a that's a glance into into the last mm. ten years. Ooh. Let's rewind a little bit further than that, man. Okay. Pick me one cult classic. Right from the from the Sigma back catalogue, right? Could be anything okay. in your archive, right? It's one we just discontinued about three years ago. Okay. It's the uh, everyone loves it. Yeah. It's the two hundred to five hundred two point eight. Yes, the moon bazooka. It's yeah. about that big. Get it, me that bazooka. It, I'm sure there'll be a photo on it online somewhere. But yeah. if you type in two hundred yeah. to five hundred two point eight Sigma, yeah. it is a massive, great big lens. It's yeah. fantastic though. Mm -hmm. um, about that sort of size. Yeah, gotcha. You would have to gotcha. hold the lens rather than mm -hmm. the camera, otherwise sure. it would break the Of break course, yeah, the mount's gonna, um, gonna snap. <laughs> yeah, it has yeah, its own yeah, battery yeah. power through it as yeah, well. Yeah, gotcha. But gotcha. it also has a two times extender built in. That's why. So you could then go to 400 to uh, well, a thousand mil or five six, mil. yeah. Good grief, yeah, so what, a, what a bit of, yeah, what a bit of uh, premium optics oh, you've got lovely. there, yeah, yeah. that's wild, like, um, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it just weighs a little bit more than your average lens now, okay. so, yeah, I think the discontinuation was because we could produce mm -hmm. lenses like this, yeah, appreciate which that, sure. had sure. full frame optical mm -hmm. performance, which was up to the standard mm -hmm. we would like now. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's just, yeah. it's a cult classic. But I like I, it. Yeah, I've no, absolutely. It, yeah. yeah, it was right where I saw. In, I, had, I had a sneaky suspicion you might mention ah, that, good, you know, for, good, just, yeah. just based on conversations yeah, yeah, that we've yeah, had yeah, in, the, yeah. in the past yeah. there, dude. But um, right, so we've talked about optics, mm -hmm. we've talked about past, present okay. and potential. Well, we haven't quite touched on future yet oh, yeah, and I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna throw another oh, curveball well, at you in a, a little bit one, yeah. okay dude but um but photographer do you know what one thing we haven't talked about mm -hmm. is photographers mate and okay. um uh this is another one I haven't I haven't asked him I haven't asked oh, him no. this at all okay guys good. but um what photographers do you, do you that I, are you looking at right now that you think oh I, I really like I really like his or her work oh it's, it's tricky because they're so uh, this is it's so much variety out yes, there, yeah. and especially being in this uh, working for Sigma, we yeah, see a lot of photographers, I bet, yeah, I bet and there's a lot do, of people yeah. producing incredible results. Indeed, indeed. I think for me, because I I quite like the minimalistic mm -hmm. feel of like photos as well, and actually having not too much clutter. Sure. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna name call one of our ambassadors. Yeah, but, do it, do it. Um, we've got an ambassador called Lee Tippett, yes. and he is absolutely 
phenomenal yeah. for like yeah. landscape work. Yeah. If you see, it's it's all square, so mm -hmm. he shoots completely square. He does also shoot on an FP camera as okay, well, yeah, which is right, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and he's been with us for a couple, uh, well, longer than I've been with the company. But okay, yeah, well, right, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, 10 that. or 15 years he's been oh. as a Sigma ambassador, which has sure. been, I mean, he's, yeah, he's so great for yeah, us. He's a, um, yeah. But he takes very minimalistic shots mm -hmm. in square format mm -hmm. and they're all landscapes. And yeah, it's it's yeah. lovely. It's just... Fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a, such a lovely guy as well. Yes, and we do yeah. um, we do the odd Sigma workshop where okay. we take clients out and sort of mm -hmm. um, Lee's there sort of um, telling them how to shoot these mm -hmm. images. And it's just mm -hmm. watching him shoot and also the results. And I, again, I'm terrible with the composure of an image. Right, but right. But he just yeah, he, snaps it straight yeah, away. Yeah, he's got he's, it. Yeah, he's, he's got, got it there a fantastic in his mind, eye for yeah. it. Amazing. Um, but very, amazing. So it's Lee Tippett. I there we go, guys. Yeah, we'll we'll put a link in the description yeah. there to the to the podcast. But go go check out Lee yeah. Tippett. Uh, if, check out all the Sigma ambassadors as well because they're all they're all pretty stellar. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. All pretty stellar. We've got a good range um, so far. We, sure, we keep sure. uh, we keep adding and yeah, sort of, of changing them around as well. So it's um, it's a good We're time really. We're just um, yeah, yeah, yeah expanding forever forever growing yes. forever growing. I tell you what, if you head on over to their Instagram page as well, they ju they just reshared uh, one of one of my ah, shots on there. Yeah. as well like it is shameless we're oh, shameless oh. out here hopefully Let's we tagged go. you in it as well being so. surprised yeah it yeah. was a surprise though because yeah, I, wa I wasn't told that you guys were doing that but um, ah, but we love that mate. Good. thank you very much mate. Ah, I really appreciate no it worries, yeah. Um, but yeah no honestly check, check out all of their current ambassadors because they're all uh, absolutely fun not just absolutely fantastic mm. uh, photographers uh, videographers mm. but, but human we, beings as well exactly, you know, very personable yeah. very we try and pick so. mixed as well so Lee's one of yeah. our landscapers we've For got sure. a couple of landscapers just mm -hmm. because of the FP kind yeah, of fits more towards that, that. Kind of, kind of and then we too. have some portrait ones mm -hmm. and wildlife ones Amazing. and even macro wonders it's, yeah, it's beautiful yeah, like some of our we results can't fault um, it, mate. we can't yeah, fault so it like, it's, it? it's uh, good it's good the one uh, job we do it, in all of that we haven't even mentioned the you know how, how good that 105 still oh, is you know i know the original the two the two eight like yeah yeah, yeah. Fantastic the macro 105 it's well. it's our only lens which we um haven't discontinued sure. um which isn't part of the global vision yeah so right, it's right, older yeah. than 2012 yeah um yeah. and for lens optics as well like you know how fast this industry pushes yeah, forward sort of drives that lens EF Nikon mm -hmm. F mount fit it's so well. well it's such a popular yeah, little lens. It does, a, um, does, it does a crack. For optical job, performance yeah. and reprise, I think it sits somewhere around 360 to 390 I, I th in the I think, market. I think, I think we're 369 on it. Generally on a day-to-day you know, -day -day basis. It's a it's a phenomenal bit oh, of glass. Yeah. And, and and actually one of our one of our biggest selling it funnily enough dentists they love it yes, yeah, yeah, macro yeah, yeah. macro work just don't look at my teeth yeah, 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 yeah we've so, been smiling this whole yeah, time yeah, so. <laughs> uh, touching upon that who's your favourite photographer then? oh no no I, oh I'm, no I'm oh it, no I, I, I right I didn't see it well, right so so here we go mm -hmm. um, I suppose I mean I, I tell everybody this, but I'm I'm from the um, I'm from the Annie Liverbit school of of photography. Okay. That is, um, uh, you know, she is the queen for me mm. as far as as far as I'm concerned. Uh, just just pure longevity, mm. um, her client base, her ability to to share her knowledge with with everybody. Um, but oh, nice. the composition. I mean, I looked at listen. If you if you've never heard of Annie Levovitz, first of all, where have you been? And, uh, <laughs> yes. and secondly, go and check out the the stuff that she's done for Vanity Fair. Because I was I was looking at the um, at the sort of the if you will, the, the third grids that she uses. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, you, you forget your, you know, your, your yeah, sort of, yeah, your, 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 nine, your nine yeah, boxes, yeah, yeah. like forget that. Like she, so she uses a root four grid, as oh, they call it. Okay. You need to go Google that as well, because it's just mind boggling. Like? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's like spirals and yeah. lines wow. all over the place, golden ratio. Yeah. But she'd been doing it for so long. That's what she sees so when she gets like all of it you know george clooney and oprah mm. winfrey and all mm. and all of her celebrity friends in there mm. <laughs> she's there composing them like you know yeah. that's if they're in the room you yeah. know other yeah. you know so it's some of these you know i suppose by the time you get to a celebrity photography sort mm. of status mm. you know you're not going to get all of the talent in the room yeah. at the same time so she's 
composing this <laughs> this thing, it and all she's together. photoshopping it all together. Wow. So it's like, yeah, she's she's the queen. That for takes me. such a good um, eye, and also such a like you're kind of shooting for the edit as well, yeah, and that's such a hard yeah, thing to do oh, these man, days. Like, like, yeah, she's a she's a prime. I mean, I'm sure she's got a fantastic team around. I'm sure she has. Uh, br- brilliant team, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a brilliant yeah, team of guys yeah. around her. But yeah, no, she she for me, she's one of the one of the absolute like you know the queens of photography. But um, oh. Benjamin von Wong, okay. who I suppose isn't a um, isn't so much a photographer anymore as he is a maybe an installation artist you know um but his message of you know sort of sort of you know clean up the oceans and oh, you know so a, re- a really very positive mm-hmm. message for the world like you know, you know and uh, yeah i think i think ben von wong uh is absolutely out there as as a very close number two. Oh, so what does uh, he do in terms of I mean, I mean everything it? listen I did, again check this guy yeah. out but you know my, my first encounter was um, when I was heavily into pyrotechnic photography okay, and yeah, we yeah. were sort of I was sort of looking at you know fire, uh, fire breathers etc uh-huh. uh, Ben Von Wong was somebody that I came across on YouTube uh-huh. um, no you tell a lie sorry I came across his image first which I, I was adamant was CGI mm. right and it was a photograph of a like a like a shaman uh-huh. um, on a lava field Okay. Yeah. And uh, th- I mean, th- we're, talk- we're, 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 listen, man, we're, <laughs> yes. we're talking about a pretty freshly erupted volcano, right? And uh, and I was Tripod like, yeah, melting. It's, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. I mean, the, the poor guy's shoes were melting by the end of the shoot, oh. like you know. So um, it was a bit crazy, but I was adamant it was uh, it was CGI. I was going to say health and safety over that would have been. And, a and then I went on YouTube to see how he did it. Yeah. And no CGI. He. He took a live model, all of his lights, etc., out wow. onto a lava plane, yeah. which was still liquid underneath <laughs> the crust, and uh, and took these shots God. of his model on it. Oh, mate, my mind was that's bad. incredible. Yeah, yeah, it was a, that was a wild one, yeah. like it. But yeah, that that earned, uh, that, <laughs> that that sort of got me uh, uh, really into yeah. his work, like the way that he operates. And you know, he's done a campaigns for all the biggest brands mm. on the planet mm. without a shadow of a doubt like oh. you know but it sounds um, like yeah it's just all these photographers which keep trying new things and pushing yeah, out like into push the, it, yeah. a different world and push the, bra- push the boundaries yes. man but it's like but yeah but the kids don't don't try this at home <laughs> god say don't try this at home but yeah it's a it's a wild one like you know but yeah ben ben von wong is absolutely uh-huh. uh, uh absolutely up there um sean kirkhouse who's behind the camera there is, as yeah. well for macro photography that's that's my guy um so yeah i did yeah i have big you up big guy yeah, i'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. use the platform and big you up yeah. Like, yeah sure if you haven't checked out his work go go check him out like you know he, he took this shot of a snail yeah. right it's little eyeball little antenna, and yeah. it's just the eyeball in in focus That's like you know, and the rest of it is just bokeh it's just like yeah i blew my head off when i see with it, macro like, lenses like, as well like yeah. your breathing is yeah, such a like, big yeah change in feet, the depth of field <laughs> no stabilization yeah he shot it on a dslr d850 d810 yeah. and a sigma 150 Ooh, macro lens nice, yeah nice. yeah yeah out of here with your yes. ibis and your image stabilizer i don't want to hear nothing Dang. about it this guy this guy's the guy like you know yeah That's Sean the thing. Comes, mate. as yeah. as much as all of these new cameras have this new technology exactly. it's all to do with the eye and the photographer like, yeah. you yeah, speak yeah, about yeah. that first first person you yeah. love she yeah. just compose it and yeah. regardless of the camera on the back side of it exactly. like just the way she, she, she she's on oh, obviously phase one oh, hustle yeah, yeah, you know them, them, are, yeah. them big things yeah. like you know, you know yeah. so yeah it's a it's a it's a madness like you know yeah. but it's just i I've never, I've never quite seen anything like like yeah, what, what he, good, what he yeah. showed me that day. So like I bet you're out it, hunting these snails trying yeah, to get a better shot. Like, oh, no, yes. do, do you know, I, I know, I know my, um, I know my lane. Mm-hmm. I tend to portraiture is absolutely my thing. Um, and Fair and enough. the camera, unless we're filming something like this, camera doesn't really come out the bag for anything other than you know? enough, yeah. um, because learning lighting. <laughs> lighting learning people. studio techniques. Yeah. You know, um, interacting with people. Mm. It's going to take me a li- lifetime to master oh, that. Sure. We're, we're constantly learning, so I, I kind yeah, of dedicated it down to that, you know. So, yeah, it's a bit of a it's a it's a bit of a crazy one, you know. I, I know they say don't you know don't ever close yourself off, but you know I've kind of found my passion, no, and I'm gonna you've I'm gonna got stick to find the lane you, you like. It, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, um, right? And yeah, same with me. Like I like my travel portable little lenses. You do. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I probably won't change too much from that. Um, don't do it, man. No, yeah, no, don't, no, don't do it, bro. Me. No, but it, um, hey, listen. But it's it's nice to have all of those lenses at your disposal. Exactly. Should you ever ever exactly. require them, yeah. isn't it? You know, um, and and knowing that a small little weekend bag isn't going to cost you the earth. This is the thing, especially with the prices that some of these lenses come in now. Yeah, yeah. They're absolutely 
incredible. And yeah. as we said, you can take a punt on a lens like this, which you wouldn't sure. normally try. Mm -hmm. Give it a go, you know. Yeah. It, you could probably sell it and, and make your money back on it yeah, at the end yeah. of it because they're so popular. Exactly. Well. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. And, and and that's that's the thing. Yeah. Mm. Holding value. Mm. You know, we're we're not we're not in that climate of uh, well, you know, it's, it's an after you know it's an aftermarket mm. lens or third party lens. It's going to lose X amount. You know, we're we're out of that trend now. These are mm. these are the height of premium yeah. optics yeah. without a shadow of a doubt you know yeah. I, don't, I don't think i would be alone in saying that but um i mean you know the, the clarity I, I can remember uh mm. when when you joined me in my studio oh yes uh, yeah, yeah just before year, christmas yeah, wasn't yeah, it yeah, yeah i think yeah. it was just before christmas was it mm. and uh, i was I, I tell you what the that 85 mil yes. and and the and the 135 oh, oh my I god know. if you please Ladies and gents, if you get a chance, yeah. try either of those two lenses out. The, oh, the rendering of the bokeh, how sharp they are on subject. It's such it's a gorgeous like, drop off, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's a just, joke. Yeah. It's, 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 it's those like this. Pin joke, sharp. Mate, and yeah. Oh. yeah, man. I, I really, really, really like those yeah. lenses. I think those two are. Those, in, in fact, I've changed my mind. Okay, the, the, yeah, the, 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 right, yeah, the 85 is going to the top of my yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think closely followed by the 135 without a shadow of that. I think well, we do the 105 as well now, you know. I love, I love the 105, the but he's, he's a, he's he's a, a monster. He's a yeah. monster, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That thing has got, I mean, what's the element on that? Is it an 86 mm. or a, so no, it's, it's bigger, 95 isn't it? 95, yeah, sorry, yeah. So, and then it's been described by reviewers as the bokeh master. Yeah, which is the king. Absolutely incredible. Oh, obviously, yeah, we're giving yeah, loads of spiel and links yeah, here, but yeah, yeah. that's the one that you yeah. have to check out. If you're you into portraiture it, yeah. For sure. and yeah. you don't yeah. mind a bit of mm. like, a bit more weight than no. some of our other lenses, no. look at that one. Check it out, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. know it's gorgeous. I just, yeah, it's gorgeous, I just, right? yeah, absolutely, man. I, yeah. I'm having the, I, I'm just getting I flashbacks and withdrawal symptoms. Is, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. is, uh, is 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 the flavour of the week at the oh. moment, mate. Um, but yeah, man. No, listen. Yeah, we, we've kind of um, we've kind of uh, you know covered quite a lot oh, in, no, in, in, perfect, in the last yeah. few moments, man. And you know, I'd always say you know thank you so much for joining us on uh, on the show, man. But oh, um, we're gonna we're gonna finish up with a uh, a couple of uh, oh, no. a couple of a couple of questions. Okay, right, right, I feel like these are gonna be yeah. hard. <laughs> so so I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I try and make the it, best. I try to make, I'm gonna uh, try and make them as painless okay. as possible for Ready. you. All right, dude. So. The first one is, and we all want to know, RF. Oh, yes. To the market. That so. would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, that's a very diplomatic answer, mate. But I'll, <laughs> listen, I'll, I'll take it. So next question, my mm. man. Okay. If you were recommending to a, a complete beginner, okay. right. All right, a lens, and a camera combination can be Sigma or can be okay. anything else if you're allowed to suggest yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah, of course. What would you be recommending? It's hard. So yeah. for a beginner, we have done incredibly well. Mm -hmm. And I 100% I know why we've done incredibly well with it. It's 18 to 50, 2.8 for the crop sensor systems. We love that. So we love that, mate. It's yeah. honest, uh, we don't have one here, but it's, mm -hmm. it's probably the same size as our 23 mil. Um, it's a 2.8 from 18 to 50 all the way through, and it's it's the equivalent to a 24 to 70 pretty much yeah. for a yeah. small and lightweight package. Very good. And it's very affordable in the market as well. Mm. Optics have come out from the same factory as our contemporaries and sports versions. Mm. It is a contemporary, um, but that's due to the size and weight, which keeps it nice and tiny. And then I guess to marry that, you want to either go for a, a Sony crop sensor system or an L-mount crop sensor Appreciate or that. equivalently full frame mm -hmm. or Fuji mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. then you can just pop it on there and it's mm -hmm. it's good to get way to go because all of the full frame cameras crop it down anyway so if you, yeah. could, you know yeah. these days with all the second hand market you could pick up a nice full frame camera um, which is mirrorless like say we we're talking about earlier on you could pick up like a Sony from four or five years ago um, mm -hmm. that will be full frame yeah. buy that little lens crop sensor it down yeah. keeps it neat and tidy yeah it's nice yeah nice. so any, any of the 6000 series man is a very uh, very portable solution exactly. isn't it dude exactly. I think Absolutely. that would be my beginner one um, but saying that we have a lot of pros who pick that up um, mm -hmm. because talking about size and weight they they have some of our lovely 85s some of our you know 135s or 50 mils and they're, they're great they're fantastic they're a workhorse for them but appreciate when they want to go on a holiday or when they want like a travel with the family this is why I like 24-7 because it's versatile yeah. but the tw uh, 18 to 50 which is even smaller for crop sensor is sure. that in a smaller package like it mate well there we go guys 
I've got no more questions for you, Sam, oh, which means we goodness. must be at the end of this podcast. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gutted, mate. I'm gutted. I'm going to go back to my soundboard just that one more time. I'm going to hit the, I'm going to hit the, uh, the sad trombone oh, I am. Oh, it's the end of the pilot episode. But, mate, listen, seriously, thank you thank so you. much for joining us. Um, it's, been a, it's been a hell of a hell of an afternoon. It's been oh, a blast, Oh, it's been fantastic. Mate. And I, I can't wait for my next invite. Yeah. Listen, dude, well, I, I, I tell you what, right? I d- make a promise to you. Mm-hmm. If we make it to the 100th episode of this, Perfect. you're getting the, you're, you're on there. You heard it here first, guys, right? <laughs> yes. From episode one to 100, Sigma always got a place at our table, oh, mate. Thank you very Thank much. you so much for joining me, dude. Right, guys, so to all of our listeners, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out our podcast. And remember, keep capturing the world one frame at a time. We'll see you on the next episode. I'm Chris. This is Sam. Catch you next time.